Hi, I'm Stacy. I'm a paramedic and paramedic instructor, and I want to talk about today something that was an absolute game changer for me as an entry-level paramedic. So I went through medic school back in 2017, and I did not learn about the mnemonic pales back then. I went to a conference about a year after I got my medic, and I was introduced to the mnemonic. So if you are a paramedic or paramedic instructor, I would encourage you to listen up if you've never heard of the mnemonic pales, because me, I thought it was great. I thought it was just a game changer. If you're an instructor, it can be a very beneficial tool for your students, especially if you are in the first semester of paramedic school and you're teaching them the bread and butter, all the good stuff, the STEMIs, the hypertrophy, the bundle branch blocks, access deviation, AMI imposters, all the good stuff. This can help them. Okay, so here's the breakdown of PALS. It's P-A-I-L-S. So for example, if you were to see ST elevation in your posterior leads, you would check for reciprocal depression in your anterior leads. And if you were to see ST elevation in your anterior leads, you would check your inferior leads for reciprocal depression. But once you get down to the bottom of your septal leads, let's say you see elevation in your septal leads, you would go all the way back around to your posterior leads to check for reciprocal depression. So it's a super easy tool. Now, of course, you wanna make sure that your students understand the heart, understand the different locations, the contiguous leads, the lead views, and all of that. But this is a mnemonic that will definitely help them, especially in the testing situation, and even in a pinch in the back of the ambulance where, oh, okay, I see elevation in two, three, and AVF. Those are my inferior leads. I'm gonna check my high lateral leads for reciprocal depression. Anyway, I hope you guys found this as cool and beneficial as I did. And I hope if you do show it to your students that they like it and find it helpful as well. I hope you guys have a fabulous weekend and I'll see you later. Bye.